Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Triton Vision. I'm your host, Devin A. Williams, and today I am joined by Ecker College men's basketball head coach, Brian Galuski, as well as student athlete, George Kimball. Welcome guys. Good to be here. Exciting. Oh yeah, very excited. Um, so, coach, this year marked a significant rebuilding phase for the Tritons with the addition of seven new players to the team. Despite this transition, the team's enjoying a more successful season. Can you elaborate on your approach to fostering team chemistry and how it has translated to on-court performance? Yeah, when you think of those numbers, you'd say, wow, half of your team is new. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it is, but you know, going into this year, we knew we had good you know, building blocks um, with the six returners. Um, we knew last year it was, it was really crucial for us to, to recruit um, the right pieces and uh, kind of merge uh, those six with the incoming seven. And I think we did an excellent job doing that. From when I started working in athletics my freshman year, like this team this year has definitely like had the most like chemistry and team bonding that I've seen throughout the past few years. So it's really great seeing them yes. on the court. And they're, they're, uh, they're exceptional people. They all get along. Okay. Um, and, and again, when you watch, uh, you know, teams play, you know, initially you say, gosh, that, that individual or those individuals are really good, but there's so much more to it. Um, they, and I keep using a word each and every day, they just have dynamic personalities where the makeup is that um, they all believe in the same thing mm -hmm. and it's hard to do because every player has individual aspirations you know but 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 in the whole we have to have team aspirations and trying to merge them um, but they're doing an exceptional job of, of listening and, and um, just being together as a unit definitely well, the second half of the conference schedule is coming up as the Tritons have six more games in the regular season. Um, so what expectations do you have for the team heading down the final stretch and for the conference tournament? Well, the expectations of, of yes. the next six um, is win them all. Um, we're, we are, um, we're a very good team mm -hmm. um, and we can compete on both ends of the floor. Uh, I think we're growing each and every day and you know, I. I want to be humbled um, because we are a humbled group. Uh, the last several years have been really difficult for the Tritons. Yeah. Um, so um, I'm, I'm confident to say that, you know, the right pieces are in the locker room mm -hmm. and uh, we're playing very good basketball right now. And our goal is to win them all. Uh, is it going to be a tough task? Absolutely. This league is a grind. Uh, you know, if you think about after you have a great victory, uh, whenever it is, Wednesday or Saturday, mm -hmm. there's another one come, another game coming right up in oh, two yeah. days, you know, or three days. So, um, but, but our mindset is one game at a time mm -hmm. um, with the intention of going into each game individually to win it. And our last question is, what is it like having two coaches by your side who also played for you? Yeah, extremely fortunate. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you know, it, it means so much. I, I can't at times uh, put it into words because uh, who you have to the left and right of you um, is, is crucial uh, to having success. Um, you know, it's like if you're running a company, you, you have to have good people mm -hmm. next to you. Um, and that's kind of what we essentially do is we run our own company um, and Coach Moss and Coach Dixon, um, not only were they you know, great basketball players, but they're great people, they're loyal, they're hardworking, um, and it's been really exciting for me to watch them grow. I mean, mm -hmm. I've known them half their life. I'm fortunate that they've had the ability to, to come with me here to, to Eckerd. Um, they're going to be, uh, and they continue to be outstanding coaches, and they're going to be great head coaches one day. So now we have student athlete George Kimball. Welcome. Um, first question is, in your debut of the season against Florida Southern, you delivered an impressive 27-point performance. Are there any other specific short-term goals related to the game that you aim to achieve by the end of the season? I feel like taking it day by day is a, is a lot of short-term goals. Um, most important, The most important one for me is just getting better every day. Mm -hmm. That's a, one of the main goals. But just like uh, stat goals, maybe like zero turnover game or a double double points and assists. Mm -hmm. But um, the main goal is the main like the main main goal is really just to win. Do whatever I can do to help the team win. So whatever whatever that means. All right. 
And what do you think has gone well for the Tritons this season? Not only on the court, but off the court, we are, uh, we're really together. So mm -hmm. us being so together and then all of us really buying into the system and believing in each other is what's really helping us start to um, pick it up and get wins. All right. And what advice would you give to younger student athletes who hope to play in college? I was just in high school last year, so I feel mm -hmm. um, the main thing is just make sure to put your priorities first because mm -hmm. Being a being an athlete, student athlete, is a a lot of a lot of things you have to focus on, especially when school picks up. So um, there's, there's gonna be times where there's gonna be like a party or like uh, like a birth a vacation that you might have to miss because you have to be in the gym, getting better, doing schoolwork. So I think that's that's the advice that I would give to, especially a lot of people that uh, want to play like a major conference like ours. So it's just like being in the gym. It's sometimes going to outweigh like having a having to go to parties. You're going to have fun and stuff, but um, it's important to stay focused on your main priorities. Definitely. And last question is: the Tritons had an amazing win last night, defeating number two in conference, Florida Southern College, 85 to 80. What did you take away from this game that you think will be beneficial throughout the rest of the conference season? The most important thing I feel like we took away, or I took away personally, is that. Um, it's our defense that's really going to help us win games because Florida Southern is, was averaging around like 90 something points so we were able to keep them down at 80 so that's really what is going to help us win and then uh, another important thing is that we, we, we can compete with anybody not just in the conference but also in the country if we um, play together and everybody does their role. Definitely. All right. Well, thank you both so much. Uh, to end things, we have a little game that we're going to play, um, and that is who can name more NBA teams in 30 seconds. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Uh, uh, Mavericks, Kings, Lakers, Celtics, uh, Bulls, Cavs, uh, the Pistons, the Hornets, um, the Miami Heat, the Orlando Magic, um, Clippers, uh, Portland Trailblazers, the Nets and the Knicks. Um, the Time. Dang. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. That was uh, super impressive. Uh, <laughs> Come on, G. You got 13 on that. All right. All right. Are you ready, Coach? I don't know. <laughs> yes. Three, two, one. Celtics, Nets, Lakers, Knicks, Cavs, Bulls, Clippers, Mavs, Nuggets, Trailblazers, Kings, Heat, Um, mm, <laughs> Nets, Pistons. Time. And our winner is Coach Gillespie. Oh, man. <laughs> I was Just so nervous. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys again so much for joining me. And thank you all for watching the first episode of Triton Vision. I'm your host, Devin A. Williams. And once again, thank you, Coach Brian Gillespie and George Kimball. Thank you. Go Tritons.